Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to work with animations over the network with the Fishnet multiplayer system. Now this is very easy, so let's just get straight into it. I have this top-down controller, where you can see I can just move around, the networks and transform and everything. This is a super basic movement setup. Now going and looking at the player, which is right here, you can see that I just have this basic script and it has a reference to the animator. Now keep in mind all scripts will be in the description below as well. But as you can see here, this is just completely normal stuff, handling the camera and the movement. And then I have the animator right here. Now the script does absolutely nothing in regards to animations or anything like that right now. It only handles the movement and the camera. So under the player, I have the actual player body. As you can see, if I disable that, you can't see him. So this is just the setup I always prefer using, which is why I'm referencing the animator externally. And here you can see he doesn't actually have an animator controller. He just has an animator on him already. So let's get right into adding that animator to him so you can see that setup as well. Now under animations here, I'm just gonna add the animator controller and I'm gonna call this one player anim. And we're gonna add that directly to the player. Like so. Now let's open up that animator. Now in here, I'm going to have three animations. I'm going to just have the standing idle, which is just what it's going to default to. I'm just going to call that idle. Then we have a jog forward and we have a jump. Now these are just our three ones. This is the jump. So let me just throw that in here. And this is the run. Now, first of all, with these animations, we also got to make sure that they are able to loop, which at least for the jog forward and the standing idle, we want them to be able to loop because they, well, they don't need to exit. They can run forever, right? So when you work with animations, you you have the parameters up here and these parameters are generally what's going to change the states of your animation so in our case for example if the player moves at a certain speed well i want him to go into the running state so let's go set up that parameter real quick that's going to be a float and i'm just going to call that velocity there we go and as soon as the velocity so i'm just going to right click say make transition and go to run and in here i can give some conditions where i can say as soon as that velocity is greater than 0.1 for example well then it will go into the running animation and i don't want this to have exit time and you can also just give it transition duration which i don't know for my sake maybe one five something like that's going to be fine and we also need to revert back from the running state back into idle which is most cases just going to be the opposite case so if it's less than 0.1 velocity well then it's going to return right back in which case i'm just going to set one and give it no exit time and there we go now this should work now let's go animate this first of all so if we go down to our update i can just go way down to the bottom and handle the animations down here now we already have the animator which i've just called animator so in here i can just reference animator dot set float because it was a float value that we made i can give it the name which was velocity and then we need to say comma and whatever that we need to feed it in my case i want to feed it the movement so i have this move direction vector which is what handles all my movement and the way that i can feed it the speed of that is just grab move vector dot magnitude and that will give it the actual speed of pacing off the float so let's just first of all go test that out locally here all right so one thing i just quickly forgot to do is on my animations i forgot to set the animation type to humanoid because obviously my character is a humanoid character so for the animations to work i need to set it to humanoid so now if i start the game you can see everything works now with the animations in terms of walking around and so on so this just looks good now let me start the other game up here and there we go but you'll notice one thing and that one thing is that the, the other character isn't animating. So this means that the animations are right now not network. Also, another good thing to just note, I also changed the velocity to the character controller velocity magnitude instead, just because the character controller is always updated. But for my case, it should give the same result. So now let's look into how do we network the animations. Now, this is actually really, really easy. Now, let me go into my player here, where I have the animator. And here, I just need to add the network animator. And there you go. You'll see that it has automatically caught on to the fact that we have a parameter called velocity. And so now let's actually just go test it out again and if i go back start this i start this and now you can see when i walk around now it's network that's in my opinion really 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 clever the fact that you can do it this easily but it's not just as simple as that there's a little bit more to it this is how you can get started with animations but let's try and add in the jump now so in our case this is where i jump and i handle the jump and at the same time i also just want to trigger the jump so for my sake i can go animator dot set trigger jump like that and this will trigger the jump parameter now we haven't made the jump parameter yet so let's go do that so into the animator new parameter trigger jump now if you're not aware trigger is basically like a bool but it only just gets fired the one frame so in our case we're just going to trigger it because well a jump is a one-time thing right so now let's go from i'll run to jump and also from idle to jump and what this will take is just the fact that jump will be triggered so we'll be able to go from anywhere i don't want this to have any exit time whatsoever and for that sake the duration should be extremely short on this one so let's do it like that and now we'll both be able to jump we also need to be able to leave the jump again so let's go back here 
and back here. Now it'll leave the jump, just if the velocity will go to idle if the velocity is less than 0.1, as we've said before, and it'll go to run if the velocity is greater than 0.1. Once again, don't want exit time, we want a little bit of transition duration. Oh, actually, sorry, we want exit time on this, I just realized. We want exit time on these because we want it to be finished with the jumping first. And actually, let's try with just these settings. So now let's go test it once again. So I'm just going to start it up locally. And as you can see, I jump, it'll fire the jump animation, and this works just fine. And this all looks good. Now let me go and start the other one. So there we go, the other one started, and as I jump, you'll notice that, well, nothing happened. So let's take a look at what's going on. Why is it not synchronizing the jump? Because if we go into the character, you can see, well, it does have to jump here, and that should work. Now, the thing is, triggers don't work like that. Triggers need to be set directly using the network animator, because it can't synchronize like that. So what we're going to do in this case, just to make it really, really simple, is that since we also have the network animator here, what we can do is I can also set in a ask for the network animator. So I'm just going to call this one net anim. And down here where we do the animator that set trigger, I'm just going to do net anim that set trick so it's really just as simple as that now let's go back make sure to feed it the reference and let's test again there we go i feed it the reference let's try and start up the game start up the other game and now if i move around and i jump i forgot to save the prefab that's on me test once again i run i jump and now you can see now the jump also triggers perfectly fine and yeah this is basically how you work with animations it's really as simple as that the only thing to really keep in mind is that it will network basically any parameter except for the triggers which you have to set those manually as far as i'm aware the floats the ins and the bools will be set correctly if we actually just go and check if you see net anim dot you can actually see exactly what you can do with things it's always very very useful and if i say set you can see you can also set animator set controller but generally the set trigger is really the only one that you'll be using from here other than that you can just use the normal animator directly and it will network that directly so it's really as easy as that it's one component it's really the network animator that does all the magic of course you can work around with whether it's client authoritative interpolation and so on i'm using fishnet pro keep that in mind so if you ever see videos where i have something that you don't it's because i'm paying for fishnet which i can very much recommend it's an awesome system very cheap it's a very very nice guy who's developing the system he's very helpful if you ever need help feel free to join my discord feel free to join the fishnet discord that's nice people everywhere who wants to help you and i just hope that you have a wonderful day